So I did the unthinkable and I left my little impact drill at another job. So looks like I'm going to be using the, the big guy just to pop off a few screws. Uh, or I could just use my actual nut driver, but yeah, that was a bummer. I didn't realize it until, uh, I got back to the shop and I needed it for something and I realized I didn't have it. So, but I remember where I left it. So that's a good thing. All right, so looking at the schematic here, this is where our thermostat connections come in. So if we follow the yellow, which is our compressor, it immediately goes into the high pressure switch there. So coming out of that, it goes to the board. So I've already verified coming out of the high pressure switch to this terminal here that I have 24 volts. So I want to check now my low pressure switch here, which is PS1 and PS2, which are these two yellow wires right there. Got one lead on the, the common side. So on PS1, I've got 27 volts. So the board is feeding voltage on PS1 and then it should come back to PS2 and it's not so what I can do now is just unplug both no voltage change over to continuity just an audible continuity test and now I can check my wires. And I do not have continuity. So that means low pressure switch is open. Looks like there's some connections down there that are not factory. I might have a loose connection, but or it could be that it's low on gas, but I'm gonna check that switch first. But I need to kill the power. Uh, heat and AC. Of course, I wanna make sure I actually don't actually have power off before I start digging into this. Looks good. You could also go to ground to each leg. We're good. And I'm used to using that small drill most of the time and using this big guy. The, the torque on this is crazy. So here's our low pressure switch. That's the high pressure switch down there. And as you can tell, look, the wire came out of the connector. 
So there we go. Just need to make that repair and get it fired up. See if that takes care of our problem. All right, now that I've got that connector replaced and reconnected to the switch, now I'm gonna test continuity again and see if it's reading. Just can't do this with one hand. There we go. So now it should fire up and we'll check pressures and make sure it's actually functioning right. Flashing red, I must be low on battery. All right, so that was a pretty quick call, uh, pretty simple. Just found that connection there on the low pressure switch completely disconnected. And obviously the unit shuts down, so no big deal there. Uh, I think it's actually a pretty common problem on these units. Um, really didn't want to spend too much time actually checking the vitals of the system. I just want to make sure that it was actually running properly um, because we have a tornado in our area that just touched ground. So um, I need to get I need to get home and get to the family. So it's uh, it's tornado season here in Tennessee, and it's been crazy the last week or so. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this up and uh, get home. So thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you guys like what I'm doing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Till next time, we'll see you later. Man.
man, that's crazy looking.